Hello everyone, how are you doing? Just want to touch base with you and see how you're doing at home with the self-quarantine, you know, stay at home essential going on and lockdown going on. I just want to touch base with you, you know, my private beach just to see how it's going now. So everything okay? This is background removal using a video. So we'll, today we'll quickly go over a new program and this is something to do with background removal and um, I noticed uh, some, this is something which on many people on my channel has been requesting and uh, today I want to take out some time to go over what background removal is. So this is uh, something which is being designed uh, by using a simple background subtraction technique now quickly go over the program here with you. So before I begin, I want to go over a little bit about what background removal is. So it's nothing but subtracting the background, which is behind me, and the foreground, which is in front of me. So I'm subtracting both these two features, and that's about it with background removal. So the first step in this process is to open the video camera, and here I have the, using the OpenCV module on using video capture. I'm capturing the video here using the video and I'm also opening up another video which I want to replace my background with. So I have this ocean.mp4. It's nothing but the C which you saw in the video. So I have this opened up here and I'm going to be replacing the original background with this image or this video here. and. The next step is to read the, the reference image. What this reference image is nothing but the background. So what I'm doing is before everything starts, before any of the algorithm starts, I am letting the camera capture the background, just the background with nothing in front of it. So I'm just letting the camera capture what the background is. And I'm storing in this image called ref image. So this is the first image which will be read by the camera and I'm replacing it here. Now this flag equal to zero, this is this is a flag which I'll show you later on. It's something which I'm using so that I can replace my background anytime during the video. It's, it helps me in controlling the program manually so I can I don't need to store the background in the first stage but also something I can use later on if I need it. I'll go over that later but it's not so important at this point now this is a while loop this is an infinite while loop and it will continuously run the program until you press escape or q so the first step is to read the camera read the image from your webcam the second uh, stage would be to read the images from the video the ocean video which you saved earlier so I'm going to replace and I'm reading both of them simultaneously in this program. Once I'm done with that, I am resizing the ocean video using the ref image over here. Why I am doing that? Because at some point I'm going to subtract and add. So in order to permit to replace this ocean video with you know the background image so I need both of these images to be of the same size and that is the reason I'm using this resize function and what the resize function does here is I'm, I defined a small function which does the resizing for me so it's going to be reading the dimensions of the IMG image here which in my case is going to be the ref image and I'm, it's going to read the dimensions for them and save it on the width and height. And by using these dimensions, I'm going to resize my image, which is the ocean image, to that dimension. So that both of these images are of the same size. And hence, it allows OpenCV to subtract both of these images perfectly. What happens if I don't do it? Now, matrix uh, images are nothing but matrices and matrix addition subtraction or multiplication can only happen i'm sorry addition and subtraction multiplication has some other rules but addition and subtraction can only happen if they are of the same size and same number of rows and columns and that is the reason we are doing resizing so that both of them come to be of the same size and it helps in the addition and subtraction 
So here I'm using the flag function which I defined here and whenever the flag is zero it captures the ref image as a new image. So I'm re replacing the background whenever I want during the program. So that gives me some manual control over the program here. And once I'm done with that, I am creating a mask. So this is the first step in the background subtraction. This is the most important uh, step in the algorithm. So creating a mask, how am I doing that? So I'm first subtracting the new image which is coming out of the webcam with the background image, ref image. And I'm also doing it the other way around. The reason I'm doing that is because one could be sub add addition and the other could be subtraction. So maybe the IMG value has more, one at times the background image has more. So I'm doing both ways and I'm adding them. But once I add them, I am ultimately going to be using the absolute value of those differences. And whenever those differences are less than 13, I'm putting them as zero. Now, why am I doing that? This is nothing but I'm setting up a threshold. And there are, would be times when there would be so much of noise involved in the image where the foreground and the webcam and the background image might be, you know, they, they would be confused between the foreground and the background. So I want to only use the exact features and to avoid any kind of noise, I'm using the 13 because these images are coming out of a webcam and it is very grainy. So there would be times that it will confuse a foreground with the background or a background with, you know, a background. It might think the new background which is coming up is nothing but a foreground. So a small differences in the image can cause you know, problems in the background subtraction and that will not give that seamless effect which we need in the background removal. I mean, you want to convince people that the background has all actually changed and it's all in real time. It's nothing that you're doing post-production. It is going, it's happening in real time. So you want to be perfect of the algorithm. And this is something which you would play based on your camera settings, based on how your camera model is. And for every setup, every environment, it will be different. So it's something you will have to do by trial and error. In my case, I noticed having a number 13 would be the best. So once I'm done with that, I'm converting the subtracted image to a gray color image using this particular program here, this particular uh, function using the convert color. And once I'm done with that, I am changing the absolute value of the gray color to zero. So once I'm done with that, what it does is wherever there is a difference, it will make it zero, a white color, and wherever there is no difference, it'll make it black color. So it becomes a black and white image, not just gray, but black and white. And that gives us a perfect mask, which we can use for our background subtraction. So this is the function which may helps us creating the mask. And I am converting that mask into a union int type. So uh, we are changing that mask into a union eight type by using this function. It's nothing but describing what kind of an image it is and it is a nothing but an union int type. Once we're done with that, we're changing the FG mask and we're converting it to black and white again here. So in this case, we defined a monochrome image, but here we're gonna be converting it into a 255 value, which we can use for our subtraction or any computations which we need where, when we are going to be replacing the foreground and the background. And this is the function, this is the uh, step which we will have to do in order to convert whatever is la less than white or less than whatever is white and whatever is black into a 255 value. So it's nothing but black and white. So it helps us in our computation. I'm also inverting the mask by using bitwise not. The reason I'm inverting this mask is so that uh, there is a mask which is just going to focus on my foreground and there's a mask which is also going to be focusing on the background. So using that background mask, I'm going to replace the ocean image. So this is, this is something which I'm going to be doing on the ocean image so that 
I can add both of these images. So it only takes out what is needed from the foreground and the background and then helps in adding them. That's the sole reason of inverting so that when I use the mask, I can use it for on my foreground, but I'm inverting it. I'm inverting nothing but to focus on my background so that I can use it for my background subtraction. Once I'm done, I'm then going to be adding I'm using this mask to take out those essential features from my foreground and from my background. So using this function here, I'm going to be using the features in order to take out from my foreground. And here I'm going to be using this in order to remove the features which I need from my background. So both of these and this is nothing but the ocean image. So we are just using the mask and the ocean image so that it can extract those exact features which we need. Once we are done with that, we add both of these images. So nothing but the images which are masked. So we have a mask of just the foreground and we have a mask just of the background which we need from the ocean image. And we are going to be adding both of them using the CV to add function and once we are done we are done and we just simply show it using the i am show background removal destination image so this is where i'm using the flag function from this is why i created the flag function flag uh, variable up there i keep calling it function it's not function it's a variable so i'm using i'm looking for keyboard presses wherever if it's if it's queued then it's going to break the program and it's going to you know it's nothing but escape so it quits the program and when I press D it starts capturing it helps me capture the new background and when it when I press R it helps me in recapturing the new background so it's I'm just resetting the function so I by pressing D I start the program using the new background and when I press R it helps me reset the background so now I can choose my new background so it gives me control over the program and here I'm just destroying the videos and releasing destroying all the wind windows and releasing once my program is done so that way we release the memory so this is uh, the overall function of the uh, background removal using video and we can do this by an image as well instead of reading ocean.mp4 if we just read a simple image it we can help uh, replace the background with an image but if you want to do an ocean or if you want to do a video changing video we can just simply read using the video capture and then convert and do the processing every time on the image new image so with that we come to the conclusion if you like this video leave a like and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if there's any other algorithms or any other programs which you are interested leave a comment and we'll go over it in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.